helper and help my grandma. She does everything for us. Like folding laundry so we have clean clothes. I'm pretty sure the dryer is eating all the socks. Grandma even fixed my super kids cape when I tore it flying. Grandma does so much for all of us. That's why I did some super thinking and decided I'm going to help her make dinner. Can you guess what I'm going to make? I have bread, mayonnaise, ham, cheese, and lettuce. If you know what I'm going to make, shout it out on the count of three. One, two, three. That's right! Sandwiches! You guys are super thinkers too! Wow, this is gonna be a lot of work. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy! Who? Who? Cooking up some ham and cheese, are you? Hey, Ollie! I wanna help my grandma make dinner, but it's gonna take forever. Helping others is great. It's true. God made you to be a helper. Who? Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Follow Hoo. me through. Don't worry, Stormy Jane. Goldie should be back from vacation any minute. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Goldie's back! <laughs> oh, hey friends! I'm Carrie the Dog Walker, and today is a very happy day because Stormy Jane's best friend Goldie just came back from vacation. She's been gone a whole week, and Stormy has really missed her. Which reminds me of a story from the Bible about two very good friends. This is David, and this is his best friend Jonathan. A long time ago, these good friends had to say goodbye to each other. It was very hard. They promised to always be friends. And David promised that he would always take care of Jonathan's family. And then they said goodbye. Everybody wave. Bye. Well, later, David became the king, and he remembered his big promise to his best friend, Jonathan, that he would always take care of all of Jonathan's family. David wanted to find Jonathan's family, but it was a very big job because he didn't know where Jonathan's family was. But David knew God made him to do big things. David decided to send lots of people to help him find Jonathan's family. When the people came back, they had found someone from Jonathan's family. It was his son. His name was Mephibosheth. He couldn't walk and he needed someone to help him. 
Well, King David wanted to keep his promise to take care of Jonathan's family. So he had Mephibosheth brought to the castle. He gave him lots of land. He gave him a place to live. He gave him people to help take care of him. And David made sure Mephibosheth always got to eat at the king's table. From that day on, King David took care of Mephibosheth just like he promised his friend Jonathan. How great is that? David did a very big thing and took care of Mephibosheth. God made us to do very big things and help people too. Oh, hey there, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who made you to do big things? God made me to do big things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. David helped Mephibosheth, and God made you to help others too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Hoo, hoo. Wow, David did a big thing and helped Jonathan's family. God made us to do big things. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! God made me to help, so I'm going to help my grandma by making some super sandwiches. Whatever the day brings, God made us to do big things. See you later! God goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. For the Lord, your God, goes with you. Deuteronomy 31.6 Welcome to week four. Today's true story was about two friends named David and Jonathan. A long time ago, these good friends had to say goodbye to each other. It was so, so hard, but they promised to always be friends. And David promised that he would always take care of Jonathan's family. And then it was time to say goodbye. Bye. Well, later, David became the king. And even as the king, David remembered his big promise to his best friend, Jonathan, that he would always take care of Jonathan's family. David wanted to find Jonathan's family, but it was a big job. And King David wasn't sure where Jonathan's family was, but David knew that God made him to do big things. And David decided to send lots of people to help him find Jonathan's family. Well, after looking, they came back and they found someone from Jonathan's family. Oh, thank you for searching with us. Well, guess who they found? They found Jonathan's son, and his name is Mephibosheth. Can you remember how to say Mephibosheth? Yes, let's practice. Mephibosheth. Very, very good. Well, Mephibosheth couldn't walk, and he needed someone to help him. And King David wanted to keep his promise to take care of Jonathan's family, so he had Mephibosheth brought to the castle. David gave him lots of land, and he gave him a place to live. And he made sure that there were people there to help take care of Mephibosheth. King David also made sure that he always got to eat at the king's table. From that day on, King David took great care of Mephibosheth, just like he promised his friend Jonathan. Isn't that awesome? How about a hand for David? Woohoo! Way to go, David! Well, it's so awesome, and David did a big thing, and he took care of Mephibosheth. David was a helper. God made us to do big things to help people as well. 
So tell me, who made you to do big things? That's right. God made me to do big things. All right, friends, it's time to do our prayer. Can you put your prayer hands together just like this? All right, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for making each child here today so, so special. You love us very, very much, and you remind us that you are with us always and that you help us to do big things. Thanks for sending your son Jesus to be our friend forever. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, friends, it's time to do our chant. Stand up and help me. Put your hands together. Here we go. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, high five. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, Jesus is alive. All right, friends, next week is week five, and we're going to do something very, very special. If you're joining us from home and you happen to watch Ollie for week five, please join us and wear your favorite superhero hero costume. I'm going to wear mine. And if you're coming to church, no problem. Hey, wear your favorite superhero costume and join us as well. All right, friends, y'all have an amazing week, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Wow, what a great story today, and what a good God we serve. Before we go, there's just one more thing that Peggy and I need to do. Everybody bring your forehead or your hand close to the screen for your blessing. Friends, you are a blessing. And so loved by God and your church family. We hope that you have an amazing week.